Hey, I'm Evan Mozingo. And I'm Chris Polte. And this is the Ready Report for March 2019. Thank you for joining us on our second installment of the monthly Ready Report. Chris, people typically know the Economic Development Office from existing industry expansion and new companies coming to the area, but most people don't realize we actually have a full-fledged existing industry program. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Something we're extremely proud of is the first and foremost, we take care of the ones that we have here. And so that existing industry program, we have a dedicated person, Ron Mail, in our office who does that. And Ron goes around, uh, visits with our industries, takes care of uh, minor issues that come up. Those are the ones that can cause the most problems. But we also hold an industry appreciation day where we say thank you once a year to the industry as well as doing other things um, throughout the year, workforce development, uh, working with our chamber as well uh, to help out uh, our existing industries in any way we can. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest uh, things that we do is our seminar program. It's an opportunity for us to reach out to them once a quarter around topics that they pick that's important to them. And so those topics uh, range from Building 101 to environmental issues to HR. Uh, we have one on Millennial Workforce. And, um, and so this month, we've actually held one on social media. That's right. So we've teamed with SNA Today mm -hmm. and Haven Creative to share with our industries a little bit about social media as a marketing tool, really just best practices and what not to do on social media. That's great. And you know, with the marketing side, there's a lot of things that we can do and we have to do to promote our community to industries that are throughout the world. So we, we market globally, nationally. And then also locally, just to get information out to the local citizens. One of the best tools we started a couple years ago was Unitas. Can you tell us a little bit about that campaign? Yeah, Unitas is one of the fun ways that we have with yeah. social media. Uh, we actually won an award for it uh, for marketing a few years back. Unitas is sort of like Flat Stanley, the way Flat Stanley travels the world. Our Unitas travels the county, going from company to company and sharing right. with our folks here what's made right here in Union County. Uh, so each month we'll hold a contest on Facebook where you get to go on, comment underneath the post where you think Unitas is uh, visiting at the moment and uh, for a chance to win a prize. So be on the lookout for that next month. Our March contest just wrapped up. Chris, industrial parks have been very successful in Monroe and Union County over the last two decades. Right. And now two more are on the way. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Absolutely. Uh, Monroe, both Monroe and Union County have ventured into uh, new industrial parks uh, in the last six months and so uh, it is an exciting time for us to be able to offer new products to industries both expanding and looking to come into this county. Uh, let me give you a little history. Monroe started the industrial parks uh, from a public standpoint back in 1996 with the Monroe Corporate Center. And so it's a 500 acre park, holds one, some of the most marquee companies that we have in our county. And so we're, we're uh, ex so successful there that uh, Monroe went ahead and did a second park, the Arrow Point Industrial. And Arrow Point was a smaller park and sold out almost immediately. It was focused on aerospace. And so that has now um, been con fully consumed. And so the city of Monroe has now reached out uh, to some landowners and were able to secure some property for the third industrial park, Expressway Commerce Center. And so that, uh, that park should uh, be coming online uh, within 2019. And so we're excited about that. It's 155 acres to start with room to grow. And then just this month, uh, Union County closed on 335 acres of a very good piece of property that's right beside the Charlotte Monroe Executive Airport. Uh, should be a huge success for us in, uh, in luring more companies to this area. In fact, the first 125 acres of that park are now under contract, so we're very excited about that. So uh, things are looking up for us on the product mm -hmm. development side. Evan, get back in here. What are you doing? We're still taping. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm just celebrating our new company. <laughs> Duke Sandwich Productions is investing $5 million into a new location here in Monroe, bringing 50 new jobs. They're headquartered in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. they got another location in Easley, South Carolina, so it's their first location in North Carolina. They make pimento cheese, potato salad, and this great chicken salad. I'm just celebrating, man. Where's mine? Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next time, remember, the best investments are made between Marvin and Marshville. Thanks for joining us.